What is up people of YouTube? It's Daniel from How to Human here and today we are going to be taking a look at top 5 apps that customize your Android. So as I said in the last customize your Android video, we are going to be switching this series up to a new 5 app format and this is the first video where I'm going to be doing this. So let's get right into these apps and check them out. So at app number 1 we have EV Launcher. A lot of people have heard of EV Launcher, it's actually quite popular. But it's a newer launcher and it has a little bit of a different concept than Nova or Apex so I definitely thought I should check it out. So what's different about this launcher is that it still keeps a minimal look. It doesn't really look like the Pixel or the Google launcher. It has its own little unique look that still is pretty minimal and clean. But the special thing about this launcher is the search bar. So you can swipe down at any point in the home screen to access this search, sort of like an iPhone. But essentially this search is supposed to be better than what's available in other launchers. It's supposed to differentiate this launcher. It's supposed to give you suggestions, access to Googling stuff, access to your contacts, access to your app. So whatever you're searching for, it should be able to find it and hopefully give you the best results possible. Well, I haven't really used the search bar very much besides for looking for a contact or two. I would definitely say that this launcher is cool. It supplies all my basic needs. You can set a custom grid size. You can set a custom app icon pack. And that's pretty much all I use in a custom launch of this day. You could also set a two finger swipe that will lead you to the Google app in order to try to remedy the lack of a Google Now page. This is pretty cool and I use it all the time. So overall, I'd say this app is solid and I definitely suggest you guys check it out. At app number two, we have CAF or contextual app folder. And this is a widget for your home screen that is essentially a smart folder. You can set up different scenarios such as what apps to show up when you plug in your headphones or what apps to show up when you're at a certain location or at a certain time. And basically the apps will change in the folder based on these scenarios. You can set up scenarios, different ones, and you can set up which take priority over another. So let's say I plug in headphones, but I'm also connected to my car at the same time. I could set a priority on the car and the apps that will show up under the car profile will show up even though I have my headphones plugged in. I think this is awesome and it has allowed me to have a less cluttered home screen overall. And if you have a very cluttered home screen with a lot of apps and a lot of folders, the idea of a folder that will change based on your circumstance and your needs is pretty neat. So I definitely suggest you guys check it out. This is a great app. I haven't really experienced any issues with it. Before we move on, I'd like to give a shout out to Slick Wraps for sponsoring this video. They have these new honeycomb skins that feel and look incredible. I've been rocking a black one on my iPhone 7 Plus and honestly it looks super clean and amazing. I definitely suggest you guys check them out because they're a real eye catcher. The link for that will be in the description as well. Anyways, let's go on to app number 3. In app number 3 we just have an icon pack called Spheroid Icons. So I thought this was a neat icon pack. It's circular, it has over 5,000 icons. And as we know, Google is trying to just push circular round icons for the upcoming versions of Android. So I thought this icon pack was fitting with that. And when I found it on the Play Store, it was currently on sale for free. It's usually, I think, $1.99. I'm not sure how long this promo lasts, but I would definitely check it out. And if it's still free, I would snag it just because, I mean, why not? It's free. Anyways, let's go on to app number four. We have Nougat Quick Settings. This app is for those of us that are on Android 7.0 or above. So if you're not on Android 7.0, I'm sorry this app isn't for you. Uh, maybe next week. Anyways, uh, this app is useful for those of us that want to get the most out of quick settings. Basically what it does is it allows you to enable tiles that aren't there by default. You could set up apps to launch from a tile or shortcuts. And there's also a few other actions, some of which require root, but some of the ones that don't require root are still pretty useful in my opinion. I definitely use the calculator one. This was in the Nougat dev preview or beta or whatever it was, but then it was removed. So I'm glad to have that back. And also there's a tile for setting an alarm. Basically it saves me a bunch of taps. I don't have to open the clock. I just swipe down, tap that tile and I'm instantly setting an alarm. There's also one for screenshots and another for screen timeout if you use that. It's definitely an app worth checking out. It adds a few little neat tricks to your quick settings without too much clutter. And it's one of those apps that you could use set up once and then never have to touch again. So that's cool. At app number five, we have Poly Wallpapers HD. So Poly Wallpapers HD is the wallpaper app I went ahead with for this month because I really like their selection of wallpapers. I think they're unique and nice. And also I was really vibing with one. So I'm rocking it on my home screen currently, as you guys saw earlier. And uh, this app is pretty simple. It's a free app. You can kind of scroll through their wallpapers and pick one. It also, worth mentioning, has a option to generate its own wallpapers using some sort of voodoo, who knows. Admittedly, this option has little variation and is not that great. 
doesn't generate many different wallpapers. It just kind of does this thing and then changes its colors. Or at least that was my experience with it. I wouldn't really use any of those wallpapers. But overall, considering this app is free and it comes with a good amount of clean looking wallpapers, I would say it's worth checking out. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And if you really like it, don't forget to subscribe, like, follow us on social media. All that stuff will be down in the description. Until the next time, kapow!